Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very special one. We have the newest Natasha Denona I Need a Warm Eyeshadow Palette. By the way, my name is Smriti. I love eyeshadow palettes and Natasha Denona plus when it is a basic neutral palette, sign me up for it anytime. Anytime. I love a good indie palette. But when I talk about Natasha Denona Huda Beauty from the mainstream brand, it just definitely touches my strings, definitely. If you've not seen this palette, let me show you a close-up of this palette. This palette is beautiful. It's neutral tone according to me. We are going to do life swatches to eye look using this palette. So if you're ready, let's begin. You know how I bash Natasha Denona for not giving us variety, but also I cannot resist a neutral tone palette and that's what i get from this i don't get like the warm aspect of it and that might be my undertone and like my uh, tan skin tone talking for me this is a neutral palette okay this is absolutely my neutral kind of a palette i really do not see any warmth <laughs> It can be me. It actually can be me. I see a little bit of peaches, but I see a lot of neutral tones. So we're going to put this on our eyes. I don't know why did she name I need a warm, but we're going to find it out. This is how the packaging comes in. We have everything written here. It's made in Italy. Uh, it has a 24 month of shelf life. That's all that you need to know. It is, it retails for $69. It is already available on Natasha Denona's website. I am an affiliate with the brand, but I purchased this palette with my own money. My code is Smithy Sony to save you 15% off. And if you use my code, I thank you very, very much. I'm very excited. Let's dive in. Obviously it has a mirror. It has all the holes on the back, uh, which helps us to customize the palette. And this is how the palette looks, right? This palette has three, four, five, six, six mattes we i can see two metallic shades this fancy hanker shade they say elm and push they both are like sparkling foil and i love a good sparkling foil but elm looks like a metallic to me okay like you tell me how does this and this shade has the same formula i don't know the best part about that is this palette has a multi-chrome can you see that multi-chrome look at this how pretty that is and truly such a beautiful shade. I love a good multi-chrome. This is a multi-chrome and we also have a duochrome, which is this shade, which is called Dynamism. And she's introduced new formulas for us. We have this shade, which is Flash Over. Flash Over is defined as a slip cream matte. And we're gonna see, obviously it's, it's gonna be like a, I feel like it is going to replicate her cream to powder formula. I think so, I think so. Looks matte in the pan but i'm sure when i touch it it might be a little creamy and then new formula again we have the shade homey and snug this one and this one as metal gloss formula don't know what do you mean by that it all looks like sparkling foil to me but let's dive in i'm gonna first put it on my eyes and then swatch it i'm very scared to swatch a natasha norona palette because i feel some of the palettes of her, as soon as I swatch it, it gets hard panned and I don't want that. I don't want that in my palette, okay? I just don't want it. <laughs> okay, this palette doesn't have any wet effect formula, which I like for, especially for like office looks. I love that like, you know, it, it truly feels like a wet gloss kind of formula on your eyes. It's not over the top by any means, but it glimmers and shines as soon as like that light falls on you. Really, really pretty. Okay, let's begin. I have some new brushes. Uh, that I bought from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. So we'll apply that. Let's start off with this shade, which is Soft Spot. This one, that's the first shade in the palette. Let's see where we roll with that. I see a little bit of Kika, but nothing much. I see it show up on my eyes, which is great. Because I don't have like light skin tone, fair skin tone and I want it to show up on my skin. And that basically tells like if you're deep, this is gonna be a great blending shade for you. Like look at that, it definitely shows up on my skin. I'm very happy about that. That's really pretty. That's such a neutral brown shade, you cannot deny. It's defined as a matte, medium, earthy brown shade. Okay, I like it, I like it. Okay, let's take this actually. Let's take Mellow and I'm gonna just 
blend the edges and I like these kind of shades in a palette which helps to blend the edges of the mid-tone shades and that is basically like my skin tone shade but a little more on the peachier side that's beautiful that is beautiful okay very happy let's go into the deeper shade of the palette which is pep and then we'll blend it down with this shade uh, which is whim so let's do that and on the other eye we can do that flashover shade which is the new formula oh i'm i'm liking that it can give us the depth that we are looking for and this is the darkest shade of the palette and it goes pretty deep so that's good and I definitely love a deeper toned shade in a palette. Again, just to ground everything up. But also, especially when there is a multi-chrome, a deeper shade just looks different with multi-chromes. And it just, it's, it just makes it more versatile. And I love that. Love that. Okay. Now, going into, just turning the brush around, going into that Vim shade, the mid-tone shade. This one in the palette i'm just gonna melt both of these shades together they're blending very very nicely which is beautiful i'm just taking that same shade whim on the lower lash line with that deeper shade pep on the outer corners so far, it's looking very neutral. You tell me, otherwise, I feel it's pretty neutral, okay? Now, let's go and apply a little bit of NYX Glitter Glow. I like a good NYX Glitter Glow with my Natasha Denona shadows. So just apply a tad bit, that's it. Let's do Dynamism, and then we'll do Homey, this one, on this eye, okay? So let's pick up Dynamism. I'm picking it out with my fingers, and this they say as a duochrome shade. That is a very smooth shimmer. I don't know about the duochrome effect. Maybe when I swatch it, I can see it better. But that's a beautiful, like a rose gold shade. What, does they, what do they say about it? Dynamism is a duochrome medium brown with green specks. Thank goodness you said it's green specks because maybe when the light flashes it, I can see it. Yeah, I can see it in a mirror. When the light flashes, yes, I can see it okay okay i get it i get it okay especially when you've you know play it with some indie makeup when you say duochrome i'm like where is the duochrome mister where is it okay now let's take the shade homie and i'm gonna take it on a brush hopefully it will pick up yeah it's picking up right very nicely on the brush and i'm gonna apply that oh look at that that's beautiful it's shiny it's real, really shiny. That's homey for you guys. That's really pretty. Homey is defined as a metal gloss warm nude shade. And I would agree. It's definitely like a um, really sparkly warm nude. Like a champagne nude, I would say. Really pretty. And definitely can see that sparkly effect. Very nice. Just taking dynamism on the same brush. And just melting it out together. There you go. See, that's a beautiful neutral eye in my humble opinion. Humble opinion. Now, for the inner corners, let's do the shade Fancy. This one. And Fancy is defined as a metallic champagne shade. Very bright. Very apt for the inner corners. I'm going to take the Elm shade on this one. And I'm going to take that underneath the brow bone yeah that's also a beautiful inner corner brow bone very nice okay let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara and i'll get right back and there you go that's my first eye look really really pretty i paired this with my nyx 
Line Loud Lip Liner in the shade Rebel Kind. And for the lipstick, I use Milani's Matte Fetish Lipstick in the shade Desire. And that's what I have on my lips. And I love the way how this eye turned out. It's very neutral in my opinion. Like I don't see like warmth. I definitely see a neutral brown eye. And this is what I wear to office regularly. Like these are my tones. I really love a good neutral look. And that's what I'm feeling from this eye look. I really, really love the way how everything blended. Definitely in my Natasha Denona quality, like the good Natasha Denona quality that I expect from her. And I love the way how things blended with each other. Really, really pretty. Cannot wait to use that multi-chrome. So let's move on to the second eye look. So now let's start off with the shade Flash Over because I am, I really want to test this shade out to see what kind of a formula is this. When they say slip cream matte medium clay brown, what are you giving me, Natasha Denona? Let's see. Okay, it comes and picks up really, really well on my BK Beauty A501 brush. I love my good cream to powder uh, mattes also with this formula. Let's see how it rolls. What I'm going to do is, oh, look at that. That's pigment. That is pigment. That's beautiful. I don't know why I thought that it would be lighter. But that's giving me pigment. That's beautiful. My kids got up from the nap. My kids got up. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to take that in the outer corners. I'm going to keep the same shape. You guys let me know if you want to see like a whole week of Natasha Denona, I need a warm palette. Also, I don't like the name, okay? I really don't like the name. I know it's a little bit of controversy, but I was like, what? Are you out of creative ideas? Why are you saying I need a warm now? Like, I need a nude. Yeah, uh, okay, fine. Like, I don't need a warm. I need a cool palette. Like, just name something. Where is my dream? Where is retro? Where is bronze? Like, just give me something. This could have been I need a neutral. I'm just saying. See, I love this. I love this tone. I can totally rock this all across my eyelid. Put some mascara out of the door. Seriously. Like, I just love this tone. Also applying this on my lower lash line. Now, I'm going to just take it and see how warm it can go, okay? Because people say ripe is like really, really peach. So I'm going to take ripe next. And I'm going to take ripe. In, yeah, I can see peach for sure with this shade. But again, I am talking for my skin tone people. Yes, it is peach. And it can lean a little warm. I don't know if I will call it a warm palette. Okay, so I'm going to just place that right here in the inner part of the crease and i'm also going to take that ripe shade on the lower lash line until now i've seen no issues with the pigmentation and everything shows up on my skin tone i don't know if you can see it or not i totally can see it okay now let's go into this shade which is fervor another uh, warm tone shade in the palette i'm gonna take that mainly on like the crease just underneath the transitioning shade that we applied right now. Definitely a little bit more warmer as compared to this eye. Okay, I'm just melting the edges too. It's definitely not as deep as I generally like a eyeshadow. So I'm gonna just deepen it out a tad bit. Again, using the shade, I'm seeing if I've used all my mattes or not. Yes, I have. So I'm going back into the shade Pep. Pep will come in very handy for me because I like a good deep outer corners and this is the one that will give me the deeper outer corners. Just tapping the edges right there and just deepening it out. It's not like black or charcoal brown or anything like that. It's deep but it has a little bit of warmth to it. Yeah, I like that. Going back into that flash over brush that we use, the cream, slip cream, whatever it's called. And then just melting the edges just so that there's no harsh lines. So look at that. That's how everything is looking. Now going into that shade Phenomena. This one, I cannot resist myself. I'm going to take the same brush that we used. I'm just flipping it over so that I don't mess up the shade. 
it oh my god it just changes in front of my eye <laughs> like i'm like okay it was peach it's pink now it's green okay look at that look at that that's beautiful i didn't even like spray or anything okay that's pretty okay no one can deny that that's beautiful and you can definitely make it subtle or intense however you like i'm applying it with a brush so it's going to be a little subtle but as soon as i dip my fingers into it it's going to be it is going to be boom bam but it's not going to be like a cleona or a terra moon's eyeshadow so just be prepared for that okay look at that look at that so pretty okay just tapping it over and i like a good subtle multi-chrome for like my everyday office looks that's beautiful going back into that brush with the deeper shade i'm just tapping the edges just because i don't want to lose the depth for sure and then going into another shimmer shade so what are we doing let's do the shade push this one because it has a little bit of peachiness and it looks very sparkly so i'm gonna take that and just it's very very sparkly very pretty push is defined as a sparkling foil medium rusty rose gold that's beautiful now for the inner corner let's take the shade snug this one and I'm going to take that right here. Yep. Right there. And then for the lower lash line, let's do the shade Hanker. This one. I'm going to take that and just wrap it all around the lower lash line. That'll be a great smoky eye too. Okay. I like it. I really like it. Uh, for the inner corner there's just a little bit more pop and like brightness i'm going to take that elm shade and just plop it right on top see that uh, that just made it made it let me finish off this eye with some liner and mascara i'm going to uh, line my waterline with uh, hindash's intra eyeliner and i'll finish it off and i'll come right back and that's my second eye look I really, really love the way how this eye also turned out. It's so giving me I need a peach palette vibes. I really love the way how both of these eye looks turned out. I clearly can see a neutral eye and a little bit more of a peachy eye. I will not go to the extent of calling it a warm eye. Yes, peach is a warmer tone eye shadow, but I won't call it like a warm, like an orangey, rusty. That's when warm shouts out like yellows and oranges and rusty tones to me. For me, bronze palette is a warm palette, okay? I don't have a bronze palette from her. Let me see if I've used all the shadows or not. Yes, I have used all the shadows of this palette and none of the shades gave me any trouble. It just performed very, very beautifully. It blended absolutely amazingly well on my eyes uh, now let me show you a comparison of the rest of the natasha nonna shadows that i have in my collection of course it is a sister palette to i need a nude palette which also i absolutely love i use it in a very day-to-day -day, uh, basis again this is definitely much more cooler pinky tone leaning palette and this definitely is a little bit more like a peachier tone like i hope you can see it I know the background is definitely throwing it off too, but you can see like, oh, the magnet, the magnet is causing trouble. This is definitely more peachy and this is definitely more like pinky gray. This is more peachy brown. I hope you can see that. I definitely prefer the uh, I need a warm palette more than this one just because i feel like those tones complement me and my skin tone a little better this has a lot more not that this doesn't this also does but this has some shadows which are very very light on me like this shade and this shade pretty much the same on my eyes like i like all of this 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 everything is like very light on me like my skin tone but a cooler tone version of it so that's why i prefer the other one just because it shows up on my right now even tan skin tone because i am a little bit more on the tanner side now i want to compare it to a uh, golden palette because when i saw like this reveal which I, it was like a surprise reveal because it just i was 
they were like okay new natasha denona palette revealed and leaked and i got it from sephora that same day that it was leaked okay <laughs> and i was like okay i'll just get it um out of these two as soon as this was revealed i i immediately felt like why did i get my golden palette like that is the vibe that i got it just because i feel like golden on me it's just like okay like it's not over the top like exciting for me granted it has those wet effect formula and kava which is the most exciting thing for this palette for me but if you ask me wet because i've used both of these palette granted i've only used two uh, looks with this palette i still prefer i need a warm over the golden palette and you will see it in the yearly rankings for sure uh that this would rank more than the golden palette because oh, i like this packaging a lot i i really like this packaging too it's very very elegant but this color story calls out to me you guys calls out to me of course do i need to even compare uh the retro palette retro palette is definitely much more burgundyish this goes definitely much more deeper which i definitely prefer okay that it goes a lot more deeper than this palette the next one is our reigning champion until now which is my dream palette which i feel like she's given us variety she's given us depth i don't know i don't know but what i can say for sure is out of the natasha denona palette that i own these are my top 2 for sure for sure i feel like these are my top 2 i can see myself grabbing this one on a regular basis for my everyday life for my office looks for sure so i am very excited for this very excited for this these are like my tones i really love a good peachy tone and a brown tone on my self and this i cannot wait i cannot wait to use it even more do let me know in the comment section if you want to see like a quick five look throughout the week using this palette i can definitely film it for you guys but yes now it's time for some live swatches let's swatch it out and see how it performs i'm going to uh, swatch it like match together and the shimmers together just so that you can see the difference in the variety uh, so let's go through the mattes we have soft spot which is a matte medium earthy brown we have a mellow this one which is a matte light peachy nude so let's do that i'm going to just do it on the back of my arm the first one as i said it's pretty much like my skin tone a touch darker this one is pretty much like my skin tone uh two three shades lighter <laughs> so the, it's pretty much like complementing my skin tone so i i can definitely say that this is like my perfect neutral palette okay let's move on to ripe this one and ripe is defined as a matte light medium peachy brown and then we have the shade whim which is right in the center and whim is defined as a matte deep warm brown and then we have the shade fervor here fervor is defined as a matte medium warm caramel shade which i can definitely see a caramel tone to it so that's definitely peach this i can see like a mid tone mid tone brown i would say it's definitely not deep on me and this is definitely caramel toned those shades really pretty okay look at the variety i really like it definitely missing the depth which we'll get in the next shade so let me wipe off my fingers now let's check this shade out the deeper shade which is pep and pep is defined as a matte deep warm brown shade and then let's do this one oh this is so creamy this flash over shade oh wow didn't expect that flash over is defined as a slip cream matte medium clay brown you definitely can see that you know that shininess coming through so let's do that and this is flash over swatches so beautifully definitely the warmest out of the lot i would say like in the brown family so those are the mattes you can definitely see the depth that's the most depth that you would get on a tan skin tone but really good variety i would still say it's a very neutral brown leaning peachy shade peachy palette <laughs> okay now once we have all the mattes 
let's move on to the shimmers let's go to the first two shades fancy and fancy is defined as a metallic champagne shade then we have phenomena which is our multi-chrome shade this is a multi-chrome peach pink and green it's a very smooth multi-chrome i like a good smooth multi-chrome look at that that's beautiful okay let's do it here that's fancy definitely a champagne shade and this multi-chrome is beautiful you guys it's beautiful i know that you can see that shift like peach to a pink to a green and the other one is like a champagne i actually can see that champagne shade having a little bit of green can you see that that's beautiful that's beautiful okay let's move on to the middle row we have the shade elm and elm is defined as sparkling foil light bronzy nude i don't know where you're getting all these things from okay yeah yeah yeah. i can see bronzy i can see a little bit of bronziness <laughs> okay snug but i don't know sparkling foil okay snug is a metal gloss bron soft bronze shade okay definitely more glossy but for a metal i don't know i don't know about metal gloss okay next is push and push is a sparkling foiled medium rusty rose gold which i really like this this shade is really good like look at that how different is that i don't know okay let's watch it that's m i won't call it a sparkling foil that's definitely a metallic in my opinion okay that's definitely a metallic okay this is the metal gloss i can see i can see it's not like wet effect because it has a lot of base to it it's glossy but it is it's shiny it's sparkly it's smooth yeah i would say a little bit more oomph than the wet effect formula and this one push is definitely a sparkling foil i would say in her formula line because it is it's sparkly but it's not as sparkly as the other shade like i need a node i hope that makes sense i don't know like look at that those are like peachy tones that looks so same it's it's close enough but it's not same looks very similar okay okay let's move on to the last row okay three shimmers here too we have first homey and homey is defined as a metal gloss warm nude yeah i can see warm nude here and then we have hanker and hanker is a metallic medium dark golden brown i will call this not a metallic and a satin that looks like a satin and performs like a satin i would say okay on my fingers at least and then we have the shade of dynamism which is a duochrome medium brown with green specks i would say that this is a little unique yeah i when i see it i definitely see it a little unique like, look at that how is that how is that metallic that's definitely like a satin that's a glossy formula i would say yeah okay let's watch it yeah that's a satin man that's a satin let's do the last one all across hopefully now you see it the last three shades this one sorry <laughs> this one this one and this one yeah i see a little hint of green in this shade like green sparkles running throughout it but that's a satin okay and this i don't know about metal glass i don't know about metal glass it's very similar to her sparkling foil okay it's very similar to that i don't know why is she calling all these different names when everything it's a peachy palette okay it is a peachy palette except this shade which is a multi-chrome and that is the one that has variety like just imagine that not being there that will be a boring palette for sure but i definitely you could have put in like some good colors you could have put in a navy you could have put in a burgundy like you can do so much natasha i don't know why you're sticking to these like monochromatic themes i'm happy that you got me that and i'm also happy for that dynamism shade for sure but everything performs really well so no complaints in there uh, and i love the way how everything swatched you nothing felt like it's gonna hard pan which i'm i'm very happy about and i love her this formula the what is that called slip matte thing 
the flash over shade i really like that i really like that that doesn't give me i've used enough cream shadows for which i can say i i feel like this is not going to crease on me we'll see i'm going to wear it for the rest of the day i'm going to take it over like around 12 o'clock at night and i'll definitely update you in the comment section below whether it creased on me or not but that's all for today guys i really hope that this video was informative for you again this palette retails for 69 dollars you can use my code smithy sony to save you 10 percent sorry 15 percent off on her website and yeah i would say this is my perfect peach palette okay but that's all for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week. Every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9am Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.